Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of Dime Box Discoveries. It's been a little while, but I was able to make it out to the Eastgate Ohio show uh, this weekend and snag some pretty good stuff. What you're going to find is this half is a dime box, a dime a piece, and this half is actually 15 for a dollar, so 6.7 cents a piece. So dimes, 15 for a dollar. Let's not waste your time. Let's jump right into it and show you what we're able to find, and there's some actually some pretty cool stuff I think you're going to enjoy. So let's start here um, in the dimes. And this Kurt Schilling, this is actually cool. So this is a, it's called Minted, and I cannot get that to work. But anyway, it's called Minted in the Hall of Fame. I suppose these are cards that were minted in the Hall of Fame and done there. So they're inserted one every so many packs. There's a Kurt Schilling, that's cool. Was able to pull out a bunch of top scorers, the Flying Hawaiian, Shane Victorino. And these are always numbered out of the year. So that's 2008. So that's numbered out of 2008. So this one's out of 2001. So Kevin Elster there, Randy Velarde, the Big Cat, Andres Galarraga, there's Sasaki. Uh, there's a Rainbow Foil. Um, Vlad, Vlad Guerrero Bomb Squad. It's like the diamond version or something. I'm not quite sure exactly why I can never figure these things out, but it's still pretty cool. How about an artist proof Frank Thomas? That's nifty. I enjoy that. Uh, here's a numbered Kyle Lewis out of 2021 from Donruss. Uh, Andy Pettit with a first edition out of the tops. So that's always really cool. Those first editions are always neat. And here's an Isaiah Green. It is numbered out of 499. It's number four. I didn't realize it was number four. That's pretty cool. It's low. Um, a guy who is like in single A ball right now or something. And then this one, I love the American uh, Team USA stuff going on. And it's also numbered out of 999. So that was really cool. So some cool stuff there to start with. As if you've seen my videos before, you know I live in the Cincinnati area in Hamilton. Um, so I scrub red stuff when I see it. There's Joey Votto in the Americana version of that Donruss. Eric Davis with the Fleer Pro Vision of Beauty. Tom Brown, 86 Leaf. Yeah, neat. Uh, there's a Joe Morgan. There's a Tony Perez. Chris Sabo, and uh, that's a score. Is it 89 or 90 or something? Kind of one of those subset things. Lee May. That's in the Circle K. Lee May, Circle K. That's fun. Tony Perez, 85 tops. Eric Davis sticker. Eric Davis mini from 87 tops. How about 100 green? Future stars. Hopefully the guy uh, comes back healthy and, and, you know, continues pitching. He was on an uptrend before he got hurt. Uh, Big Red Machine. This is Klosterman Bakery. Uh, with Ken Griffey Sr. And then these two are both cons. John Franco out of 1987 cons. And Rob Dibbles. There's a couple good relievers there out of 1992 cons. So cons are really cool. That's a local brand. So that's really neat to be a red set and to be that. Uh, stickers. This is uh, the year the Cardinals won the World Series. So that's actually kind of cool. Um, how about this? Alan Trammell. That's an OPG 81 Alan Trammell. And a Carlton, 83, 83, 82, 83 OPG. Uh, Jim Catfish Hunter, it's actually missing part of the corner, but for a dime, I thought that's kind of intriguing, so I picked it up anyway. There's a Ron Santa, that's the 1976. It says, oh, 70, 78, sorry. 78 TCMA, Nolan Ryan. I just think it's cool. I love to look at the back. It's got the full set of stats going on. That's really cool. There's La Russa. There's Ricky Henderson. Once again, these are all dime. Reggie Jackson in action's in great shape. So I thought that was a nice pickup. Mookie Wilson, that is a rookie card from Mookie Wilson. How about a Cubs team card from the 70s? This is the Upper Deck Hero set with Ferguson Jenkins. That's kind of cool. Babe Ruth. Cyberger, for all of you people who need to complete complete sets. Well, Cyberger, the first complete set. He's the man who created the complete set, so you can blame him if that's an obsession for you. Casey Stingle. And then Jackie Robinson. Roy Campanella. Satchel Page. Uh... This is a 1988, yeah, 1988 reprint. Uh, Joe Jackson, Shoeless Joe Jackson there. Honus Wagner, Ty Cobb, and the Raleigh Fingers in the, was an 83 design or something? So that's really cool. Here we go, some interesting stuff. This I had never seen before. Freddie Freeman's top, it's like a card of the month, some kind of club thing. So this is January, see January 2021 set. Um, so, yeah, I've never seen it before. So, it's some kind of club from the top. So, you can get that's Freddie Freeman. That's kind of cool. Here's a Fearless Raphael Devers in the green version. That looks cool. Wee. 
Um, speaking of cool stuff, here's here's Ivan Rodriguez, Titans of the game. That looks cool. Um, Unleashed, Chris Bryant. And the Hall, George Brett. And then I pick up the sticker cards like these, partly because I collect McGuire, PC McGuire. And then partly these because there's always guys looking for these for their PCs. So the, the sticker cards are always kind of nice for the PCs. Uh, there's Bo Jackson, 88 Fleer, Frank Thomas, Lumber Company. It looks cool. Dylan Cease and a <clears throat> ace card that is nice and shiny. Here's a Joker, Tom Glavin from the early 90s. Fred McGriff. Paul Molitor, there's Lynn McGuire, Ricky Henderson. Um, these are the 87 designs with Seaver and Harmon Killebrew. Uh, if you know me, you know I collect the Topps also rookie cards. And this is a Chrome version, a little different. There's Gill, there's McCuffey as a reprint. I think I've had that one already, but why not? Uh, Naquin in the Chrome, and Prince Fielder in one of the reprints. Trevor Hoffman, I think it's either his rookie or its first uh, year card, however you want to call it, so that's really cool. Um, I PC Mauricio Dubon, so to get a, a parallel, it's really cool. And then blue version of Burt Blylevin and a blue version of Roger Clemens. And then how about Mike Lorenzen as a hitter for Team USA Baseball? Um, you know, I love my oddballs and my food stuffs. Here we go. Here's a good stack I really like. Jumbo California Sunflower Seeds, Dave Stewart, Beauty, Ross Prina 87, Sandberg and Clemens. Uh, there's Ralston Prina from 84 with Carlton. There's Quaker Chewy Granola Bars, Tom Seaver. And we're getting some posts with Grace, <clears throat> Ripken, Good. And these are all ones I need for my sets, too, as I work on those. Ken Sakers, the Pepsi Cincinnati Reds, Glenn Braggs. That's cool. Jimmy Dean, Kirby Puckett. Once again, all ones I need for my set. Dave Justice. The King B, really cool. Meat Snacks with Jose Canseco. What year is that, anyway? So 88, so 89 season. And then you know, you know I love my Sports Illustrated for kids. I need to clean this up a little bit. But that is a beauty with Glavin Emmett Smith. Beauties. Tops Magazine, another great one, Ricky Henderson. Um, and then some cool stuff of stuff I've never seen before. So this I've never seen before. It's a Tops Finest mystery card. So you have to peel it off the front to see which version of this card it is. That's really cool. I've never seen it before. I learned a little something. And these cards are like, oh, Jeff, those are just Tops cards. They are, but if they look weird to you, it's because... They didn't print the gold foil on them, you see? See there, no gold foil. So you can see the name is kind of etched on there, but I didn't print the gold foil on top of either one of these three. So that's just really cool. If I can find the proper collector, that'd be neat to send off to them um, and a good trade package. Here we go. A couple of local guys, you know, I collect my guys who went to Cincinnati high schools. Uh, David Justin's coming to Latin, and this is a chrome refractor. So that's really cool. Josh Harrison, Princeton, that's a blue border. Barry Larkin, Moeller High School. Kyle Schwarber, Middletown. And Mark Lewis, Hamilton uh, High School, the big blue. Uh, come visit Hamilton, Ohio at some point. It's a cool city with a lot going on. Uh, trust me, we'll be disappointed. How about some football? Marshall Folk, this is some kind of rookie set kind of thing. It books for a few bucks, so that was really cool. Um, Emmett Smith and the, or sorry, Emmett Smith. Barry Sanders in the premium. I just thought it was cool. Um, Paul Brown. You don't run across a lot of Paul Brown cards, so that was really cool to grab. Here's Rome Bettis. Now you're like, boy, Jeff, this one even has tape and torn off and everything. The reason I bought it was because I bought it quickly because I thought, I don't know who this guy is. I'm going to look him up because on the back it's a puzzle card. So I had to look him up and figure out who it was. So that was a fun little exploration for me that took me about 30 seconds to a minute, and that was fun. That was neat. I really enjoyed that uh, little excursion there. A couple Johnny U's. Um, this one is cool. You know, I love my art cards. That one just looks really cool. Uh, Boomer Esiason in an art card. And then a couple of Ben Roethlisberger's for Miami University, the Red Hawks. So Kent, Brent, Brent, Kent, Brent, I know you're watching. Um, you enjoy the Mac guys. There's actually a couple more Mac guys coming up you really enjoy. And also, if you know me, you know I love my starting lineups. These ones are in terrible shape, but man, are they beauties, and they're bangles, guys. Oh, beauties, look at that. Hall of Famer in there with Anthony Munoz. I mean, these are fantastic. I love, love, love starting lineup cards. If you've seen my videos before, you know I'm working on the Monsters of the Gridiron from Coca-Cola in 1994. The set, I'm about halfway through, and I snagged almost all the rest, but not quite, but pretty close. Marshall Falk, Sean Jones, Pat Swirling, the Chillin' Swillin'. There's Ken Harvey, the Jackhammer, Eric Turner with Bad Bone, because he, 
you know, play for the Cleveland Browns with a dog pound. So what's cool is you have all these, and then you have the Carolina Panthers are the Panthers because they were new, but that's kind of sad. Um, there's another chilling. There's a raging. So those are really cool. I'm almost done with that set now. Great pickups. I'm really pleased. Picked up a lot of good stuff that goes towards sets. I'm going to show you more of that over here going towards sets. This is cool. It's a Topps Gold Charles Barkley. I always enjoy that. This is neat. This is from that uh, 8182. It's 8081. I think it's 8182. Um, 81, 82. Sorry, 8081. Jeez, I'm all off. 8081. John Drew, good player. Broken off in the one little piece. So I thought that was cool, so I picked it up. Some art cards there with Elijah One, Flair Pro Vision. You know, I love those. Jamal Mashburn. Anytime I can pick up a Team USA card, I'm going to do it, especially, especially the Dream Team. That's great. And then this is a Jordan card. Kind of see there. There's Michael Jordan. See that? Um, so that's kind of neat. Uh, that is the East All Stars. And then this is actually a Mike Dunleavy rookie card. Uh, there's Shaq from Classic. Now you're saying, why is this one in your basketball stack? Because it's Larry Bird. Larry Bird apparently played one game of baseball for Indiana State, got a concussion in the game, and sent him done and walked away. One for two career hitter in college, 500 career hitter in baseball. This card is just a beauty. When I buy cards sometimes, I just fall in love with the picture. Mark Messier left in the cup when the Rangers finally won it. He finally won the title. I may start collecting cards with cool guys left in the cups with cool pictures like this. I think I'm going to start doing that. I just think this is such a thing of beauty. And this might be the worst hologram card in the history of mankind. There they are. You see them in there? There you go. I don't know who they are. Um, I think it's Messier and somebody else. But anyway, those were dimes. Now we're on to 15 for a dollar. And look at this. If you've been following my adventures, you know I'm working on all the different Drake sets. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Look at all these Drakes. It was a dream come true when I found this row of a whole bunch of Drakes. So here's two from the original. I think I have like two or three left from this set. Oh my gosh, these ones, I think I'm down to one card left or something. Uh, maybe this one I have one card left I'm needing. So that's the third one, there's Foster. And then apparently in the fourth one, I didn't have hardly any. Now I've got almost all of them. So as you can see, I snagged a whole bunch of those. They are fantastic. This is great. An incredible jump forward on my sets of Drake's. I picked up two strawberries because this is 84. So it's kind of his first year card. Rookie card, whatever you want to call it, regarding SB83. He's got some traded series or updates or something, but still, beauties. I thought they might make good trade bait. So, a whole bunch of Drake sets good. Speaking of, speaking of foodstuffs, here we go. Don't have any of these before, so I guess now I'm going after the set. The Moo Town Snackers. No one big in here, but I'm on the set. I'm after it. That is what is happening. There's a Bazooka card, Greg Maddox, and a Jimmy Dean, Dave Justice. I need it. I'm working on the Jimmy Deans. Um, if you've seen my videos before, you know I'm working on all the Oakland A's tops team sets. Um, so I snagged a bunch of these from 91, which is great. Move that forward. And then a Berezito from 02. So fantastic. I'm going to go back here and work my way forward. Look at these and you're like, who cares about 87 tops? But if you look closer, that's shiny, right? Because Harold Baines, Benequist, Craig Reynolds, they're Tiffany's. Oh, what a beauty. You don't run across a lot of Tiffany's and dime boxes. So when I see them in a dime box, I pick them up for a dime. So that's a dime, Tiffany, Hall of Fame, and Harold Baines. And just two other guys. I know people, a lot of people put together team sets. So they want the cards like that. These would be great trade bait. Trade bait. Look at this. Non-licensed card. A beauty. Um, of Greg Jeffries with the American flag going on behind me. You know I love those. And here is a Freddie Benavides. Uh, world champion card. And cons again. So... Once again, local set, fantastic. Here's these, Top Mag, Tops Magazines. Once again, some nice oddballs. Cecil Fielder and Steve Avery. Fantastic. Now, here we go. I'm going to admit that I was a little bit stupid on these. I bought Dirk because I thought it just looked cool. I had no idea it's actually, well, didn't even notice this. This is indeed a Dirk Nowitzki rookie card. It books for several dollars, found it in the 15 for a dollar bin. Um, anywhere from $3 to $10, depending which place you look at. That's a Vince Carter rookie card. He'll go in the Hall of Fame. And there's a Paige Stoyakovich rookie card. May not be a big deal to you, but I'll explain at some other later date why Paige is one of my favorite players of all time. And here we go. A couple of Miami Redhawks, Wally Zerbiak, Ron Harper, um, beauties. 
beauties. Brent, check them out. I know my guy Brent Clausen loves these. He's a Mac guy as well. Really appreciates those. So he sent me a bunch of Ron Harpers in my last trade. So check those out. Thing of beauty. And then keep the hits rolling from tops. There's a Shaq. There's a David Robinson. Keem Elijah. I mean, great cards in here. Carl Malone. There's a Malone from a mid-90s. Grant Hill. It's a beauty. Deadlift Shrimp on the top scrum. Kevin Johnson on the Dream Play. This one goes for a couple bucks from Skybox, I guess. It just looks cool. And Team USA jersey, so I bought it. And then some flares of Dominique Wilkins, Tim Hardaway, and a Phil Jackson. You always need a Phil Jackson, right? So sticking with basketball, this is really cool. You don't come across a lot of Topps Gold and cheap boxes from this year, which is the 92-93 set. I love this set, by the way. It's one of my most favorites. And then to be Topps Gold, if you know me, you know I love Topps Gold. So I snagged all of the Topps Gold cards in this. Not a lot of stars. A couple off the top will show your stars. But really great trade bait at the bottom for people who may like a guy because he went to their college or he's from the area or played for the team. So let me show you what he got. Bernard King is in the Hall of Fame. Moses Blown is in the Hall of Fame. There's uh, Nate McMillan, Rick Mahan, uh, Charles Smith, uh, Terry Cummings, Danny Manning, Vladi Divac, Mark Price, ben, Pr Brent Price, Chuck Person, Dale Davis. Then we start getting into some more Bill Cartwright, and then it starts getting a little more kind of Commons players. Um, but how cool are those for just under seven cents a piece? I mean, you can't leave Top Score on the table for seven cents a piece, can you? I can't. Maybe you can. At least not from this year, which was the first year that they did it. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful card. Okay. Almost done here. Some football. These are not studs, obviously. Stephen Davis had a couple good years. Liddell Betts had some nice years. And Tyrone Coleco was okay. But these are really cool because these are numbered. It's the black and then the gold one. The black is numbered to 150 for Stephen Davis. Boy, he did have some nice numbers. Though. Check out those numbers. Look at the 1,000 yards of the league and rushing twice and touchdowns one year. That's awesome. Um, but this one's out of 150, which is great for collectors looking for him. And then these two are out of 499. So that is really cool. Some nice pickups for under seven cents a piece. And finally, last but not least, once again, food stuff sets. I grabbed a couple of Domino's pizza cards at one point and thought, I'm not going to chase this set. And then somebody sent me several and I thought, well, now I'm going to chase the set. Someone put me down that rabbit hole. But I was able to find several of them. The Roger Staubach, also a Cincinnati guy, by the way, from Cincinnati, Ohio. So that's a real double beauty for me. Um, and it's a Domino's pizza. These are all Domino's pizza. Two Joe Theismans. Didn't mean to pick up two of these, by the way. Two Otto Grahams. There's a Warren Moon. Uh, Anthony Dilwig. Cajun Connection there. And there's Bobby Brister. So, um, fantastic stuff. Chasing another set. So, picked up a lot of stuff I need for set chasing. Some cool stuff for starting lineups. Some cool stuff for some trade bait. Some good Hall of Fame rookie cards. Overall, all in all, a great weekend. Things turned out fantastic. So, once again, as always, tell me in the comments what you thought you liked the most, what you found most intriguing. Is there anything I found that surprised you? <laughs> Is there anything I picked up that you think I'm crazy for picking up that was kind of a waste of time? Is there anything that you wish you had picked up that you had seen here if you were at the show? Anyway, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. We'll be back with more stuff again later. For now, as I always say, simply collect what you like and enjoy the hobby. See you guys.